Hey Scrappers, who's here again? So, tonight we're going to be scrapping a dishwasher. Alright, this sucker, um, it's kind of already a little bit scrapped already. Uh, I had to fit it into my car. So I had to take a few pieces off, like the door, uh, and a little bit of a metal frame. But we'll see it anyway, so, um, and it's not completely torn apart, so we'll see what's inside one of these plastic dishwashers and if it's really worth your time picking it up. So, let's take a look. Alright, so like I said, this thing is already partially taken apart. I've got the, um, here. We're going to take that apart in a minute. See what's inside there. We've got all of these racks which are plastic or rubber coated um, steel. So just take your magnet. Okay, so that's all steel. So we're going to remove those. So you got these things, which are going to be stainless steel. Um, if your scrapyard takes stainless steel, great. You're going to get more than regular iron price. Unfortunately, here in Maine, there are no scrapyards that take stainless steel uh, for anything other than light iron. All right, so. Down here at the bottom, we've got a heating element. We've got uh, some more Torx bits. They seem to like to use those in here. Um, we're going to tip this upside down. And you've got a great big copper bearing motor here. Lots of wire. Uh, there's some switches. You want to make sure you take those off. Uh, check them for silver contacts. Um, little thermostat. And you know, keep your options open. Some of these things. Um, if you know enough about them, you can check them, see if they work, and uh, sell them on eBay as parts. Make more money that way. All right, so I am just going to take that heating element out, cut these wires, and pull that motor off. There's just some, some Torx bit screws here, and I'll come right back to you. Oh yeah, and on the base of it, wrapped around this one, there was this frame, which is... It's iron, the magnet sticks to it. Um, but you want to make sure you really look at it closely because there's going to be you know, some brass pieces like, like that one right there. We're going to remove that in a minute. All right, so you've got this great big motor here out of um, the bottom of it. And you can see inside there's, looks like a lot of nice copper in there. What you want to do is take a screwdriver or something sharp, scratch it up. Take a look at it. Yep, that is copper. Sometimes it's aluminum wire in there, so you want to scratch it to make sure. All right, so now we've got this, looks like the water pump here. Got a, another copper motor in there. We're gonna take this apart real quick. some nice copper in that thing and that's real easy to take apart all right so let's put that aside over here all right so all we have left is the door which is pretty heavy uh, I'm not sure what's going to be in there uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, behind the touch panel up here for uh, the, all the settings, there might be uh, probably a silver mylar or something. Um, probably not a heck of a lot. Uh, the front is metal. So let's take off this uh, plastic shell here. So, we've got another whole bunch of wire in here. A handle here that has a couple little switches on it. So let's get that wire off here. 
and this is all nice thick copper wire that if you want you can strip it. Okay, and I can already see um, the silver mylars in there. So there's that silver mylar in there. It's uh, really not a whole heck of a lot of silver, but if you put it all together, there are people online who buy it to process with nitric acid. Alright, there's some nice clean little brass there. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got one silver mylar, which uh, by itself not worth very much, but um, put a whole bunch of them together. And plus, it has all these little LEDs on there, with, which actually contain gold. Uh, you know, you put these together and you can sell them online. Um, I don't process these; they're, they're too difficult. <coughs> we got uh, this circuit board, which appears to have some gold plating on it, however, it's uh, completely covered in some kind of rubber to make it waterproof. So that is pretty much worthless. Um, you can stick it in with your low grade boards. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, it's got a lot of monolithic ceramic capacitors in there which have you know, palladium, silver, etc. Um, but other than that, this is just low grade board. We have a whole bunch of steel, which I'm not going to even try and measure. Got two and a half ounces of brass. Got 13 ounces of wire. This is all, you know, a lot of it's really thick copper wire, too. We got that zero out. And we've got seven pounds, 13 ounces of copper bearing motor. Uh, this one, you're not going to do much with. This one, real easy to take that copper out of there. This one is going to be copper, number two copper, cast aluminum, and steel. You can take these apart as well or sell as is. And got a whole bunch of little switches here that I'm going to tear apart and look for silver contacts. And that's it for a dishwasher. So I've heard a lot of people say that it's not worth scrapping. If you see one, leave it alone. Um, yeah. I've got a car, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to pick them up. Uh, I grabbed this one just to make this video. Um, but, you know, if you have a truck, if you've got the time, you know, there's a good bit of steel in there. I imagine the stainless steel ones would probably be more worth your while. Um, so, is it worth it? I'll leave that up to you. Go make some money. See you on the next one. Stop! Don't go anywhere! Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. Why don't I want to know... If you think I'm doing something great, I'm doing something bad, what I can do better, all comments are great. Make a suggestion what you want me to scrap next, and see you on the next video.